Hi friends, aerodynamic forces are the resistance to the motion considered at the high speed of the vehicle. It can be estimated by understanding of the aerodynamic drag in the proper manner. Sometimes manufacturers add some specific surfaces or design vehicle body in such a manner that aerodynamic forces enhance the vehicle's high speed performance. The surfaces are called aerodynamic ads. My name is Kampesh and welcome to my YouTube channel Automotive Crux. In this video, I am explaining the four aerodynamic ads. So let's look into the details. Hi friends, as I say, in this video, I am going to discuss the four aerodynamic ads. They are listed as bumper spoiler, air dams, decklid spoilers or sometimes it is also known as a wings and the last one is window and pillar treatment. Let's check it out each one step by step. The first bumper spoiler. Bumper spoiler are the aerodynamic surfaces extending downward from the bumper to block and redirect the airflow. In the picture shown at the right hand side, you can observe this is the bumper spoiler. As I said, it, it is extending downward from the bumper to block and redirect the airflow. This redirected airflow impacts on the under body components. So whatever airflow strikes to the, to the bumper at this point, this bumper spoiler, it splits the airflow and it redirects the amount of air to the downside. This redirected airflow impact on the underbody components. The spoiler produces the pressure drag mainly. There are different types of uh, drags available while vehicle is moving at a certain high speed. You can consider the form, form drag, pressure drag, induced drag. So the bumper spoiler it produces the pressure drag mainly. Higher the spoiler depth it increases the pressure drag which reduces the underbody drag and ultimately it increases the overall drag. So Again, we need to compromise with the spoiler depth. If the spoiler depth is if the spoiler depth is large, then it will increase the overall drag. So we need to compromise at certain level with respect to the performance of the vehicle. The next one is called air dams. Air dams are the flow blocking surfaces. They are installed at the perimeter of the radiator to improve the flow through the radiator at low speed. At low speed, the radiator requires some specific mass flow rate of the air to cool down the uh, coolant which is uh, to cool down the uh, coolant which is circulating into the channels. So at low speed when the air flow is minimal at that point of time the air dams they help to improve the flow through the radiator at low speed drag is reduced by the uh, by the reduction of the pressure on the firewall <coughs> in this figure you can observe the four types of uh, air dams arrangement which is implemented on the different vehicles and with respect to this all configuration with respect to the all configuration you can observe the uh, coefficient of discharge value in the plots shown the below here is the coefficient here is the coefficient of discharge and these are the listed uh, configuration a configuration b configuration c configuration and d configuration and these are the velocity ratio okay so uh, here are the A configuration where air dams are arranged at this place. 
and it will it will redirect the airflow towards the uh, radiator so these are the different types of uh, configuration of the air dams by which uh, we can understand the change in coefficient of discharge or you can consider the aerodynamic drag in the C type configuration we can observe the lowest coefficient of discharge which is redirected with the help of this kind of a blocking surface this is the air dam Daclid spoiler or the rear wings Daclid spoiler it is again uh, aerodynamic surfaces you can observe at the rear end of the vehicle it will be look like this and sometimes in addition to the uh, backlit spoiler sometimes external wings which is also known as a spoiler which is fitted at the rear side at somewhere here so this the shape of this spoiler it will be designed in such a manner that it reduces the rear lift by increasing the downward forces the upcoming airflow it strikes at this point and it ref, uh, deflects towards the upside so when it strike it it increases the downward forces at this point and it will reduce the rear lift it stabilizes the vertices in the separation flow thus reducing the aerodynamic buffeting the last one is called window and pillar treatment now drip drip rails and the offset between windows and the pillars are always source of drag this offsets this offsets it creates a disturbance in the air flow and it produces these small separation zones this small separation zones it produces as the air flow is disturbed it produces the pressure drag and this disturbance induces the drag and aerodynamic noises drag and the aerodynamic noise these both terms they are undesirable in, in case of the vehicles so uh, the proper treatment is required in terms of windows and the pillar thank you thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel and share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell button just next to the subscribe icon so you will get notification and you will not miss anything thank you thank you so much